all right guys so this video should be posted on christmas um and i figured i'll be doing a deck giveaway for the holidays now all you have to do in order to win these three decks as you can see i have one from the bellagio hotel in las vegas one from the stratosphere and one from caesar's palace so these are all really popular famous hotels guys and all you have to do in order to win these decks is go down in the comments below and comment why um actually you know what comment what is your favorite part about the holidays and i'll go through and pick uh, you know the comment that I feel stands out most to me and I'll give away these three decks um, Anyways guys here is the video. All right, so today I'm going to be showing you uh, what is in my opinion probably one of the best uh, You know like mathematical card tricks out there um, It requires no setup and it's completely self-working So pretty much everybody here can do this trick without even practicing So let's say you give the deck to the spectator and they can shuffle it up and then they can pick any number of cards um, let's say like Let's say 16. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now from this packet, the spectator can also mix up this if they want to. It's completely up to them and they can shuffle up the pack. Um, but the whole thing here is let's say with the 16 cards, you have the spectator pick a number that is a little more than half of the number they originally chose. So if it's 16, it would have to be like 9 or above, so let's say they pick 10, so you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we'll put it down here, we'll do the same thing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and we'll do it one more time, so you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, now guys, the card that you should have stopped me at from the shuffle deck was the three of diamonds. So if I snap my fingers, we're gonna have the three pop up just like this. So this is a trick, guys, and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so here's how the trick is gonna work. You can have the spectator um, shuffle up the deck for real. Um, you can have a borrow deck, so this is a completely impromptu trick with no setup. Um, the spectator really can pick any number of cards. Um, so let's say they were gonna pick a number, let's say like uh, 13, so it's a little bit less, let's say they wanted to pick 13 cards. So what you can do here is you can either remember the top card, in this case the four of diamonds, or I'll show you what I did um, in the performance. So let's say they pick 13, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So from this packet of cards, what you can do is you can either um, take a peek at the bottom card here, or you can have the spectator shuffle up the deck and then you can take the deck back and shuffle it yourself. And when you're shuffling it, you can take a peek at that jack of hearts over here and lay that down first and then continue shuffling and now you know the bottom card of the deck. So the whole thing is you need to know the bottom card. In this case, it's the jack of hearts and the spectator can really pick any card over half of the amount of the cards in here. So in this case, you have 13. Let's say they pick the number like nine. Okay, so it's over half, and what you do is you do this process three times. So they say they wanted the number nine, you count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you leave the deck on top, pick it up, and you do it two more times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, put the deck down. You do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now the top card is going to be whatever card was on the bottom. So in this case, it's gonna be the Jack of Hearts. So before you even do the whole counting out process, if you want to, you can write down the prediction um, just to make the trick a little better since you know, since you're showing the spectators, you know the card before they've even uh, dealt out or picked a number. So this is a trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. And